introducing the Cure Prox Ultra Soft Toothbrush. Uh, we're going to look at the who, what, where, when and why of this brush. So um, who would maybe use it? Uh, anyone that likes a manual toothbrush, maybe has a gag reflex, um, has very uh, sensitive teeth, particularly if they've got recession. Um, tooth surface loss. Uh, if your dentist has told you that um, your scrubbing technique of your tooth brushing um, is, is causing toothbrush abrasion, then this is maybe the brush for you. Well, what it is, it's a manual toothbrush. It has a small head and it's got 5,460 curon filaments. It's not nylon filaments, they're made of curon. Um, now, the bristle density is an important factor in the removal of the plaque biofilm in your tooth surfaces. Um, the brusher, brushes that have a greater density, as you can see how densely packed these bristles are, um, remove more plaque. So therefore, the more filaments in the head, the more plaque that can be removed. So you can see these densely packed filaments making it very effective at plaque removal and yet very gentle on the tooth surface. So when do you want to use it? You want to use it at night time and one other time every day and you want to spend two minutes brushing each surface of every tooth. Use the toothbrush uh, dry with a pea-sized uh, amount of fluoride toothpaste on it. Spread the toothpaste all around your teeth and then brush every surface of each tooth concentrating on the area where the gum and the tooth meet. So what you want to be doing is working the bristles down into this area gently. You're not scrubbing the floor. You want to just vibrate the bristle tips around where the gum and the tooth meet. Okay, so that's what you want to be doing. Um, where do you want to do it? You want to make sure that um, the bristles are placed at the gum, where the gum and the tooth meet. It's a really compact headed br uh, brush, so it's really good if you've got a gag reflex or if you struggle with being able to open your mouth really wide because it'll get you, let you get to the very back of your mouth. Um, so make sure you're getting those bristles round where the gum and the tooth meet. Just make sure you're vibrating and don't scrub. And if you struggle to get the outside of your upper molars, put your toothbrush in, then close your mouth a little bit. That will relax the muscle in your cheek and it'll let you get right to the very back then. So uh, why why choose this toothbrush? Well, if you like a manual brush, um, there's a lot, lot of power packed into a very small head here. It's got 10 times more bristles than your average toothbrush, so that tends to make it more effective at its cleaning action. Um, most bristles have a thousand uh, bristles. Uh, this has got 5,460 filaments that are going to make it much more condensed and much more effective. It's very, very gentle on the tooth surfaces and the gums. So great for anybody with recession or sensitivity or at any sort of risk of tooth surface loss, whether that be acid erosion, attrition, abrasion. So really gentle. Our summary from the spot point of growing smiles. We love these brushes. They're really funky. Love the colours. Um, it's a great little manual toothbrush, which is a really good at effective cleaning. Um, and it comes with this little head, cup, uh, this cap, cap for the head, which makes it great in your pocket or your handbag or even in your wash bag when you're travelling. So that's the first one of our National Smile Week tips on products.